Yo, welcome back to Silverpunk. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some metal casting, turning a 3D print into a solid silver Street Fighter legend. Also, I'll do a close up portrait. Let's get stuck into it. So, as you can see here, this is the SDL file, and it comes from Robert who does my 3D designs. Now, look at this bad boy. This is Guile from the Street Fighter gaming series. Look at him, an American airman. You can see his dog tags, and he's just, just a really cool design. As you see, we've got him in Cura now. This We're just getting him ready to do the 3D print. So, we've just got to get him resized and turn the right way. I want to print him on his back, so that's why we're going flat. And now, we've got, what we've got to do is tell the program to cut it into layers so the printer knows what to print. And this is called slicing. It take, takes a bit of a while to do, as you see. This is sped up really quickly. And there you go. That's telling you it'll take 11 hours to print out. So here we go now. And this is a little preview. This will show you the little yellow dot there is the nozzle. Let's, let's move around so you can see it a bit better. That's the actual nozzle of the printer moving about. And that's just printing a part of his dog tag there. And as you see, it does all the layers in and out. And that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to set it, tell it to go over to the printer. Then I'll meet you in the pouring shed. So here we are in the shed. As you can see, there's a 3D print. And I must, I must say, I'm really pleased with it. It's got a little bit of stringing on his face, which I'm just trying to pull off there. Just a little bit of, uh, yeah, stringing, like little bits. It's what you call stringing when the 3D print just doesn't go 100% straight to plan. And it, you get a little bit, it looks, yeah, it looks like cotton or string. Anyway, let's pull that off. Let's get the screw in the back. We need to get the punk screw in it. Let's grab the drill and get that done. And there we go, right in the middle. And that'll do nicely. That just aids us with pulling it out the sand. And really looking forward to this pour because Street Fighter was something I used to play for hours and hours and hours. Me and my best mate, we used to just sit there all day and just playing it, all the characters, trying to complete it without without getting beaten in a single round because you get a, a different end sequence and what have you. It was, yeah, great days, happy days. So, anyway, less of that, let's get back on with the cast. As you can see here, I'm lamping some flour on. Now, I actually run it, with, it is actually flour, some corn flour. Oh, you. I actually run out of talcum powder and the missus wouldn't let me use any anymore so I've had to go and get the corn flour out the uh, kitchen. So I'm not sure how this will work but I've seen other people use it so fingers crossed we should be okay. Just a uh, bit more messy. So there we go, throw it back and we'll get on and do the sand cast.
don't forget we still got another pour coming a bit later a close-up portrait of him Hello everyone, I'm your host John Armas, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today I have a very special unboxing video. Yep, that's right, it's a rather large box. Um, and uh, this is, of course, is courtesy from the Stackers Social. It's a Discord group um, in which I joined up thanks to not only a customer, but a member of the Precious Metal Forum. And uh, they contacted me and said, look, you should really join up and, uh, you know, because they were doing a 200 giveaway and I thought okay well I'm, I'm not joining for the giveaway I'm joining for some fun and uh, in that process well I really enjoyed it from 8 p.m. oh no this could be I don't know it's uh it's feeling weird so I'm gonna open this up quick And it looks like straight off the bat, I got another three poker chips here. And I got some more stuff in this bag. I just grabbed three precious metals, APM. Aha, I got this is three from APM. Okay, cool. Look at that. And then we go. I got some extra stickers as well. That's always good, because I like to give them out. 
so I have to admit I've not seen one of these ever and I love that one and then finally uh, from so, um, so here we are then as promised is the bonus pour we do a really nice big chunky portrait of him here we go oh look at that splashing everywhere If you've enjoyed this pour, check this one out up here. Look at this bad boy, this is Sub-Zero. Who's gonna win out a guy or Sub-Zero? You tell me. Thank you. 